In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to common managerial accounting decisions and scenarios, going through those questions and then practicing test taking skills with them. First question, we need to determine a price for a new product. We desire a 30% markup on the total cost of the product. We expect to sell 10,000 units. Additional information is as follows. Variable pr product cost per unit, $15. Variable administrative cost per unit, 10. Total fixed overhead, 50,000. Total fixed administrative, 22,000. Using the total cost method, what price should we change? And then we have our numbers down below. Again, if we look at the problems such as this, we're going to look at those numbers down below or we're going to look at the numbers in the problem and say, hey, there's a lot of numbers here. Probably a calculation. I see the numbers in the answer key. Probably a calculation. Let's look at that last sentence and see if that gives us an indication of what the calculation is so it's in our mind as we read through the problem the first time. Last sentence says, using total cost method, what price should we change? So that's what we're going to look for. So we've got everything we need to know to kind of get in our mind what we're looking for, what we think is going to happen. We want to use the total cost method and we'll try to find a price. So that means that we're going to basically use a, a costing method, use the cost in order to figure out what we think the sales price should be. We're going to be using a total cost method to do that. So we're going to have to figure out the total cost and then have some type of markup on that. That's how what we're going to determine what the sales price should be. So let's go through this again, figure out the total cost and then figure out our markup on it. So we need to determine the price for the new product. We desire a markup. So we might want to just put that here, markup. We'll just jot that down as 30% or 0.3, 30%. I'm going to have to change this to decimals or a percentage to see that. Markup, uh, we expect to sell in units. So I might just jot that down. Units is going to be 10,000 units. And then we have the cost. So we have variable cost, variable cost per unit, 15. We have the variable cost, more variable costs, or 10. And then the fixed cost. So what I'm going to do is take the, the variable cost times the number of units. So we'll say variable cost times units. I'm going to put the calculation. So 15 times 10,000 units and 10 times 10,000 units. Then I'm just going to put the fixed cost in the total column over here. So units, um, the cost per unit, variable costs per unit. There's the total number of units. And then here's the variable cost. Here's the total column. So here's our total column. And so then we're going to say that the fixed costs are going to be 50,000. And our other fixed costs, doesn't really matter what they're for too much in this calculation, 22,000. There they are. So our total cost then, if we sum this up, Total, ah, total cost is going to be the sum of these items. So there's our total cost. I'll go ahead and underline this just for home tab font for formatting purposes. And then we're going to say that we have the number of units is 10,000 again. So if I take the total cost divided by the 10,000 units, we're going to say that they, they cost $32 per unit if we apply out the fixed and the variable portion. Okay, so we're going to take that $32 per unit. Make sure it's not rounded or anything. It is, it's actually $32.20, $32.20 if I add decimals. Okay, so then we're going to take that number. We're going to have a markup of 30%. So 0.3, I'm going to make that a percentage. And we're going to say this will be the markup, 32 times 0.3. $10, let's add decimals. And then I'm going to add the 32 plus the markup. So there we have that. Okay, so just, just to kind of recap on that, we got the cost, this is the cost per unit, and then we're going to mark it up by 30%. There's a couple ways we can do that. We could say, we could say, okay, here's the cost times 30% which is going to give us the amount we want to mark up, meaning we're going to get $9.99 is what we're going to mark up. That's going to be our, you know, our profit basically per unit. And then if we, and let's add decimals here. And then if we take that number plus the original 32, we get to the 4186, uh, this being the actual price, which is $9.66 over the cost. We can also do that by saying, just taking that 32 times, 130 percent or 
So 130%, which is 100% plus 30%, and we should get to the same uh, if we add decimals, 41.68. So we're thinking the sales price then should be 41, 41.86, not 6886. So final answer here then, A is going to be the 4186.